Ring Tour bis einschließlich zum Finale. Man braucht also sechs Legs, um jetzt in das Viertelfinale einzuziehen. Und Koller dieses Achtelfinals ist Paul Hicks. Well, welcome to Leverkusen in the Ostermann Arena for the final day of action at the Happy Bet European Darts Open, the eighth event on the Euro Tour calendar. Got 12 in total. Seven games this afternoon, seven games this evening that will determine our champion. And whoever gets to claim the title, the trophy, and the £25,000 top prize. Only the seven games this afternoon. Joe Cullen, a very late withdrawal from the tournament here after receiving the worrying news back home that his heart, father suffered a heart attack. So he's obviously throw, flown straight back to Bradford to be with the rest of his family. And we all wish Joe well. It means that Mensor Sulevich, who was scheduled to play Cullen in the opening game of the afternoon, Mensor receives a bye. He goes straight through to the quarterfinals tonight and he's going to play the winner of this opening game here John Henderson and Alan Norris everything as per the draw bracket on the final day of the Euro Tour so the winner of our next game will face the winner of the game after that pairing up through the afternoon as is always the case in these European Tour events 3,000 people here capacity Thank crowd and Alan Norris will get us underway against John Henderson. I'm Dan Dawson talking you through it alongside the asset, Paul Nicholson, the former players' champion, who's already won a couple of games on this stage this afternoon. Who would have thought that, eh? Well, I wouldn't have bet on it. <laughs> it was looking dicey there for a moment as well, taking on a couple of lads out of the crowd. Well, you don't want to take on the locals, but the first guy was actually from England. Five. Yeah, and I actually chose him from the crowd, so that was my bad. But... What I like about this game here, Dan, is that it's a good old-fashioned slugfest, isn't it? It is. And two kind of unpredictable players, if we're honest. Both of them have the capacity to hit loads of 180s, average around about that 100 mark, and do something very special. But it doesn't always happen. Not always. And sometimes, you know what it is, you can say what you like about darts, but these guys stick together. And... They do amazing things sometimes. John Henderson, about an hour and a half ago, put his darts down and basically didn't care about his game today. He just wanted to support Joe Cullen. And that is the mark of the man. Today, he's got Alan Norris in his way. 85 left. Just next door. He's got a bit of breathing space here, though. John hasn't had a bad leg by any means. 84, 74. Well, Alan Norris has left himself 61, can see that off in two darts, but Hendo is going to be waiting. 100, Alan, you require He's left a two darter himself now. Four seven, wait, well, 48 scored. Well, now then, Hendo. Uh, Alan, it's double five. Where is he looking? Well, he's definitely miscounted there because 81. my first thought was double five and I was right. Now it's definitely double 12 for John Henderson. In that is definitely in. Hendo takes a 1 0 lead unexpectedly after the slip dart and the miscount from Alan Norris. Well, curious. The only thing you can say with Alan Norris there is that he didn't hit the double. So even if he had been going for the right target, it's not as if he's. You know, he felt like he should have won the leg. He went for a double, it was the wrong one. But he missed it anyway. So Hendo's taking his chance. He gets a break of throw. 59. So we can't exactly say he's done a Devon because he, exactly. he missed the double. Well, the thing is with Devon, Devon, when he miscounts, he does take out the shot. He usually puts in a, a very good visit. It's just the wrong visit 59. for Devon Peterson. Done it on a couple of occasions. We will be seeing Devon. First Euro Tour of the year for Devon Peterson. And somehow he's found his way through to the well, last day of the tournament, 25. despite some... Well, woeful displays of finishing. It's just been enough. I think it. the words hook and crook come yes. to mind. Yeah. 50. Chuck, though, would have been buoyed by the performance from yesterday 59. because there were signs of what he was doing at the beginning of this year and the back end of last year. He's had some inconsistency since then, but yesterday there were some very good legs. Yeah, he beat Aidan Kirk, and he won it 6-2. There was a, a 93 average. It wasn't spectacular, but... 
Alan Norris looking to stay there. 98 leaves him 160. Oh, 152. My, uh, hang on. Yes, 100. There we go. 160. 152 for Hendo, though. 84. Now they're now. Relatively straightforward in terms of the counting. Two trouble 20s and tops. Well, I would be puzzled if he got this one wrong. That definitely leaves 100. John Henderson, I guarantee you, will want to take this out. He doesn't want to give anything to Alan Norris in this game. No momentum. No opportunity to get excited. Tops. 28. Alan, you require 100. Now, Norris. Double 20 for tops. Does he go to... Well, no, he's coming down. Trouble 16 for double 16. The old Mervyn route. 68. And unable double to find 40. double 16. Tops for Henderson. Three darts in hand. He loves double top. You fancy it to go. And it does go. And it is 2-0 to John Henderson, who yesterday beat Kim Hybrex, the number six seed, Continued a phenomenal record. He didn't even realise how good his record against Kim was. It's now eight wins and 11 meetings for John Henderson against the top player from Belgium, the world number 12. But Henderson celebrated it wildly. I have never seen John Henderson celebrate anything with the passion that he showed. But it makes him, not a certainty, but looks very, very good to qualify for the world match play now. It took takes him another step closer to the European Championship and it gets him past his second round hurdle which he's been very, very frustrated at not being able to clear over the last couple of years ever since he went on a run to the final in Munich but it was massive for Hendo and it showed well, two things from me one, it's an opportunity to win this tournament and I think a lot of professionals on the circuit right now well, tend to forget about that. They're constantly looking forward to other events and trying to qualify for things. But how about trying to win this thing? I've said that to former roommates of mine and some of my peers. 16. All you want to do is really win this event. Mm. You know, that's the thing that's really going to set you up for the next couple of years. Well, you, you talk to Michael Smith, for example, who's uh, won four of these titles. And he's well, constantly going on about how he wants to go and win a big TV major tournament. But... He also says that if you offered him a deal, win a TV major this year, if, you know, bin those other trophies, as if you hadn't, you hadn't won it, he would not take it because they mean a lot to him. These tournaments are big deals. Now, same route. Can he hit it this time, Norris? No, he can't. It's exactly the same. 20, trouble 16, misses outside on the double 16. And Henderson, a 1-5-6, is a heartbreaker for Norris, but it's not going to happen. On top of the fact that he wants to win this tournament, Hendo, I've never seen Hendo celebrate like that before, but at the same time, I've seen world champions win world titles without celebrating like that, but Norris, he celebrates because he's a double 16 and he wants this title just as much as anybody else. Yeah, three PDC titles for Alan Norris in, you know, in three years of playing PDC darts. But he does have a Euro Tour title as well, won the German Darts Appreciate Championship it. the back end of this year. Couldn't defend that title when the same tournament was played at the start of this year. But he does have the game to be able to go on and, and win these events. Well, we know that. 14. Won a Players' Championship event at the start of this year as well, beat Peter Jakes in the final. They're going to be hit. <laughs> oh, so close. I do wonder, you know, after Alan Norris won that tournament last October, does he understand the enormity of the German Darts Wonder. Championship? Because people who were playing back in 2007, 2008, 2009, that was classified as the biggest tournament to win in continental Europe. And it's the longest standing Wonder. European event on the calendar. You know, I had a very good chance to win that myself a few years ago. And I would love to have that on my CV. It's a big Wonder. feather in the cap of Alan Norris having that championship. When you look at the players that are involved today, 94. Michael Van Gerwen, Peter Wright, Vincent Silovic, top three seeds with Chizzy and Gurney and all sorts. Anybody who goes on and wins this is going to have to win it the hard way. But that 87. is a good leave, John at least. For Alan Norris missed the bullseye, but he'll leave himself tops. Henderson for 3 1. Needs that treble 18 for double top. 3 1 Hendo, top plus checkout. Well, I know his wife, Veronica, back in Hundley, likes to play bingo. 
And she loved that shot because that was bingo. What a shot. Well, it was a 120 Shanghai finish from John Henderson that won him the game against Kim Hybrex in the last leg. Won it 6-4 and sparked those wild celebrations from the Highlander. It's a ton-plus checkout here that has just maintained that little buffer he's got on Alan Norris. He hasn't beaten Norris very many times. Hasn't beaten him in PDC darts. Has beaten him a couple of times in the BDO, but the most recent one, I mean, it's 2010. It's a long while ago. Remember we were talking yesterday about the fact that I saw John Henderson at breakfast with his Celtic shirt and Celtic yeah. shorts on. And I mentioned that in jest, I would get him a pair of Celtic shin pads for Christmas. Well, he came up to me this morning and said, I'm looking forward to getting my shin pads for Christmas. Well, there you go. You've, what you've done, you've dug yourself a hole there. And you've, you've basically committed to buying Hendo. Well, I would imagine a pretty big shin pad. I'm going up to uh, Scotland in a couple of weeks, actually, so I might have to grab them while I'm up there. What? 140 for Henderson leaves 135. That's the check out that Norris was having a look at in the very first leg of this game. The leg that he went on to lose. That's the break and throw that has given Norris some breathing space. That was a good third dart from Norris, you know. A really good 140. And by virtue of that, he's got a very realistic chance of taking this leg. We've seen a ton plus check out hit against him. Could take one out here himself, and he does. These two training ton plus checkouts, both under pressure as well. Interesting game, this one, and a tight one. Did see it was going to be a slugfest. Well, it's turned out to be just that. Trading ton plus finishes, as you mentioned, Dan, and very similar game plans. These two, they like to leave double top because they keep hitting it, mm. and. They've got the same sort of scoring power. When they get that first dart in, they can really build That's around it. Seven. As you can look at their darts, very similar indeed. A little bit of grip on the barrel, long stem, big flight, looking to nestle them together just like this. Just like this. It's the first 180 of the final day in the Happy Bet European Darts Open, and it's produced by Hendo, a man who... Yesterday said if you could just get through the second round of stage, the second round hurdle that has so often caused him problems on the European Tour, he felt he's been playing well enough to go and win this title. 100. And he might yet do it. Wouldn't that be a story? I know that when he made the final in Munich, that was a story in itself. And it showed everybody in the PDC circuit, if you put the work 100. in... You can have incredible rewards. John Henderson has a history of going deep in big tournaments. It would not shock me if this was today for him. Well, a couple of times he's made the quarterfinals of a big TV tournament in the PDC. He's never gone further than that. He's not won a PDC title, but he has given himself, he has gone on those deep runs and given himself opportunities. Double top. Is the chance he's got here for 4-2. And again, Henderson finds double top. 14 dart leg. And he just keeps shutting the door on Alan Norris. Norris may have to find a 12 darter somewhere to break the Henderson throw. But that is his first 180. And if he does get scoring, Alan Norris, he's got a chance of turning this round. I don't know how you feel, Dan, but as a player, I can definitely say that by continuing to qualify for these events, like John Henderson has been doing this season, he's giving himself a better opportunity to win one because he's got the assurance that he's going to get on that stage with comfort. Well, I mean, you've got a better chance of winning a tournament if you've qualified for it. That's certainly. Yep. But the fact that he keeps getting here, and even though he's... he's keeps going out in the second round until this weekend he, he keeps he's not, he's not getting battered in the second round all the time he he's just keeps on going keeps plugging away and eventually you're going to put in a display which does get you through that or you get a bit of luck or just something turns for you 48 left that's tops that's not tops and the frustration on his face tells you how poor he thinks that dart was. Oh, well, there's the one, Hendo. 
41. I get the feeling there's a twist in the tail with this game. <laughs> I really do. We're just behind the stage and we can feel the tension. Double 10 for the 11 seed. Tricky double five. Oh, that's a good shot, that, you know. It just doesn't give the little sniff to Hendo for a 60-10 and top shot, which he would have relished. He certainly would. Now, Henderson has been able to hold his throw right the way through this game, but that is only 41, and this may be the opportunity that Norris has been desperate for. We mentioned yesterday about the practice regime that Alan Norris has been going through since last week. He's recognised that there have been faults in his game, and the sheer amount of work that he's put in on the practice board, absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, eight or nine hours a day, Alan Norris claims he's been practising. I mean, that is... I mean, it's extreme. The good thing about practising for that amount of time is it gets, ready, gets you ready for a very long day. Mm. Well, it's going to be a long day for whoever goes on to claim the title. Particularly these guys in this half of the draw who are first on in the afternoon session. Not so much of a problem for Michael Van Gogh and he'll be last on in this afternoon session. That's why I favour the guys who play late in the afternoon because they can shorten their day by a good few hours. You can have a little bit extra sleep in the morning, you can get your breakfast late. That's why when you play early like these guys, you've got to plan your day accordingly. You've got to be smart. Well, Norris... Not particularly Don't smart, that anymore. visit. Hendo, a real glare at somebody making some sort of cuckoo noise in the crowd. Well, if Hendo looks at you, you get told off. <laughs> They've done it again. There are two guys on stage that you don't want to mess with. If that guy could listen to me right now, you'd be quiet. Trust me. But John Henderson just taking a moment here. He's looking to compose himself. He knows this is a big, big moment in this match. 81, trouble 19 for double 12. He may only end up with a dart at the bullseye here. But he does hit the trouble 19. Double six. Another pause. And he misses just outside. And another glare over to that section of the crowd. Two darts missed for John Henderson. He's not been broken in this match as yet. But Norris, he's already taken out 120. He can take out 110. And those two darts, 44. all three darts in fact, nowhere John near Henderson their intended targets. John Henderson just wants to get rid of this leg. Wow. Are you required 66? Two darts missed, and then Hendo busts his score with his very first dart. One for the double six, straight into the double ten. It's 20 for tops for Norris. He can still hit this. And he Jesus does hit it. That's a monstrous swing that of momentum in this match. First. Henderson had that leg by the stones, he really did. And a couple of very oh. close misses. It's 4-4, and this slugfest continues. It certainly does. It's a best of three game. And John Henderson... Well, he, he, he was just doing exactly what he'd been doing all the way through this game. Norris had been there or thereabouts on the Hendo throw, but the Scotsman had managed to close those legs out. And the one time that he blinks, the one time that he does miss a series of doubles, he is punished by Alan Norris. And it may well be the moment that determines the ultimate outcome of this game. I've noticed that there are a few people shouting in the crowd and both guys are getting frustrated by it. In these big atmospheres, you generally have white noise. You can't hear any individual voice. But the crowd are giving such good order that one very lone voice, you can hear them. Yeah, it's quieter than it's been a lot of this what weekend. It's probably the Paul Nicholson exhibition stuff. I mean, it's just, they're absolutely drained from it. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> 42. Come on, guys, let's get this crowd going again. Hendo has got the darts back in this leg. He can get a treble. He's in command. 16. It's just, just lost a bit of oomph this game, hasn't it? 
missed doubles and problems with the crowd and, and it, it's just just lost a bit of something from it well, but Norris is the kind of player who can just explode into life again and Fendo can just leave a finish he'll be 18 as he looks at now will it it is because 98 leaves him 160 and this is the sort of check I mean this is a, a check out made for John Henderson a couple of treble 20s in his favourite double top decent set up shot from Alan Norris now for one of the shots of the weekend not going to happen for big John Henderson but he is going to leave himself pretty handy he missed darts himself and was broken in the last leg he is relying on Alan Norris missing darts here but will he he might, and he has. Sometimes what goes around comes around. John Henderson has to take this out. He's got loads of room to the right-hand side. Still loads of room. Just get the feeling that the oomph from John Henderson may have gone. He's got to find something, got to dig really deep now. He certainly has to now because Alan Norris has pushed John Henderson to the brink of a third round exit from the European Darts Open. Hendo must hold throw and then break in the decider. But what a way to start, turn 40. Well, I wouldn't bat against John taking this leg out and taking us all the way to an 11th leg. It's been a fascinating game so far. It's not one of those games with 100 plus averages and sheer brilliance from start to finish, but it's had drama, it's had missed doubles, and sometimes those games are better than the other ones. Well, it, it certainly has been closely contested. You look at the stats and there's very, very little between them. There's four points in the averages, but the first nine are similar. I mean, that's basically them taking six visits to the board to win a leg of darts, both of them. And that's why it's been tight right the way through. Seen a couple of ton plus checkouts. They're both hitting roughly one in three of their darts at double. I mean, it's very, very little between them. But Henderson's put in a good leg here, down to 121. And he knows he's got two visits to see it off. To take us all the way to a deciding leg. 121. Going to stay up there and can set it up. Single one, leaves his favourite. And that is very intelligent darting from the man from the Highlands. Well, he missed two darts at double top, his favourite double in the last leg. 134. John, you cannot Brown afford to miss three here. For 5-5. Five, five. Should be a good guide. And it, well, he hits it. I'm not sure he used that first dart. But John Henderson has pulled it back to 5-all. And Norris and Hendo, it's a one-leg shootout for the quarterfinals. It's the man from Scotland against the man who lives in Scotland to see who goes on to play it, Mansur Sulevic. Advantage Norris. Definitely. Great start to this deciding leg from Alan Norris. Two treble visits with his first two. And this has to be filled up. Not going to be. 140 just about keeps him interested. That was a bare minimum from Hendo. He needed all of them, really, because Norris doesn't look like he's going to let this go. 90, sir. And what Hendo would give for a 180 now? Well, it has to be a 140 to leave a finish. Two perfect darts. And he hasn't got them, and that means that Alan Norris doesn't have to use the bullseye with his next visit. He could do, he's Alan Norris, he does things like that. But I think he'll take the sensible option. Oh, well, that is not the sensible option. I'm not sure that is either. <laughs> Let me tell you, that is a brilliant dart. That treble 19 has allowed him a two-darter. It guarantees him shots at doubles for this match, and he's going to be under pressure. The plot thickens. 61 left for Alan uh, for John Henderson for the match, unless Alan Norris takes out tops, he has missed doubles at times in this match, and he's missed two more. 61 left for Henderson. Huge, huge setup shot for John Henderson, and he should get a match start. He might get two. 
he does get two. Oh, he misses my word, it sticks it in the one. Drama in Leverkusen. Both men have mismatched darts. John Henderson should have had two, but his favourite double on the board deserts him at the most seven. crucial moment. Hendo, crestfallen. He thinks this game has gone. Has it? Not yet. John Henderson John has double 12 24. to nick this one. John Henderson said this weekend that he felt he was playing well enough to win this if he could get through the second round. Now, he's been superb in his first two games, but this... It could be a huge stroke of luck. Double six, he had problems on this earlier, bust it. But he hits it this time. Henderson just at the start on the floor, looks up to the heavens. He does not know how he has won that game. Five match darts missed by Alan Norris. And Hendo is through to the quarterfinals. It could be a dream run for Hendo. He could emulate his run to the final in Munich. He could even go one better and win his first PDC title. It is Henderson versus Suljevic in our opening quarterfinal tonight. We now turn our attention to the next game as Dave Chisnell, a man who has won on the European Tour before, a man who has made all kinds of finals on the European Tour over the last few years, takes on James Richardson, an unseeded player who hit eight, count them, eight 180s in his second round victory yesterday against Benito van der Pass. Alan Norris exits the tournament. Somehow, Hendo is still in it. We're going to grab a few words from a relieved Highlander. That is crazy, isn't it? <laughs> what a match. It is a crazy game at times. Uh, I'm playing a very good friend in Alan. Obviously, uh, it's, it's so hard to play, but I'm a friend with them all, but it's, it doesn't get easier. And uh, that, was a, that was a struggle up there. Alan's missed darts and he's given me the chance to take it. And you only get one chance against players like Alan Norris' calibre and luckily for me I've taken it. This one was, was tough, huh? When he had the chance to finish it. <laughs> Is it actually the first quarter-final on European tour since Munich? The final? I think so, huh? 2015? I think it's the first time I've qualified for the second round since Munich, if I'm being honest. I can't remember. Uh, Ask Paul and Dan in the, in the stats, they'll, they'll be able to tell you, but no, I, I, it must, honestly, something about this German soil, I just love it. The crowd are fantastic, uh, hope to keep supporting me and uh, hopefully I can just take it on to tonight. Yeah, thank you very much, see you tonight. John Henderson.